Okay, I'm going to do a short recording on how to replace a failed drive when using Unraid with Z, uh, ZFS pools. So as you can see, I've got multiple ZFS pools, and I've been ident I've been alerted through Unraid that um, I'm getting lots of uncorrected and relocated sectors, uh, and this drive is constantly going offline. What's also interesting is when I look at it, so it's this drive here ending JMX as its serial. You can see critical errors and IO, and I've tried all the obvious stuff like reseating the drive and moving it in its location on the back plane, but it, it definitely does seem to be a reoccurring read and write problem with this drive. Um, have a little look into some of the characteristics of it. So if you look at the where is it? attributes, so this drive is three years and 10 months old. Uh, when it power on hours, and you can see the properties that it's complaining about, Re, uh, reallocated sectors, uncorrected, and um, pending offline uncorrectable uh, CRC errors. So they're all they're all increasing over the last 24 hours, it just suddenly started producing errors. So it seems to be a pretty rapid failure. So what I've done is I've purchased uh, as close to the same drive as possible, just to make sure that I keep the performance integrity within the drive, within the pool. You can obviously mix and match uh, different vendors, different models, uh, as long as the size is the same however because the drive is still available for purchase i thought i might as well purchase a, an identical drive so that drive is down here that's been installed and that's uh, ready to to be included in the uh, in the pool so it's this third drive here with a serial number ending jmx that is the problem so the first thing we need to do is to oh, oh and one other thing to point out as well that i have noticed, but it seems to have cleared since restarting the server, is when I clicked on the pull, I had um, a disk has had uh, entered an error state, and that disk was showing lots of read and write errors on the screen here. For some reason, that's re reset, reset after rebooting to install the new drive. Okay, so first things first, we'll stop the array. I believe the sequence is stop the array, remove the disk, start the array, stop the array, introduce the disk, start the array, and it will start the process of rebuilding um, the ZFS pool. I think that's called resilvering when it's doing that. So it's the first time I'm having to replace a drive using the native Unraid ZFS pool management in the newer version of Unraid's. Previously, I've been using Unraid's array, and that's quite an easy process as well of stopping and restarting to replace a disk and the parity drives are used to rebuild that. So I thought I'd take you on this journey with me when I'm replacing this ZFS drive. So we know the old one's called JMX, and the new one's called FFA as a serial number. So we've removed JMX. And now we're going to start the array. In fact, let's try before. Let's try replacing it with a healthy disk. See if it lets us do that in just one. No, it definitely says it's wrong. But it does seem to, so although it's flagging it as being the wrong disk, it does seem to say all the existing data on the device will be overwritten when the array is started. So let's just try and start it. Lots of messages going through. Okay. 
if this doesn't work, I'll have to stop the array with nothing in that slot, start it again, and then stop it, replace it, start it. But sometimes Android knows what you're trying to do, <clears throat> knows that you want to swap out a disk. So let's see what, see what it says now. I can see the old disk has now been moved down <clears throat> to being unassigned. It says that it's mounting the disks, so we'll give it just another second. It's quite a few disks to mount in different pools, so it can take a second. Okay, so it's saying that slot three on this pool is returned to normal. going to pause the recording and I'll resume when uh, when something happens then. Okay, so as soon as I hit pause recording, it then updated and moved on anyway. So it took about, what, 10 seconds uh, to initiate that drive. Everything looks good with the array. There's sometimes you get buttons wanting to confirm that there's a new drive and then it needs to be formatted so we'll um we'll that all looks good uh you can see there's some activity now on the draw on the on this pool so each one of these dividers is a different pool so here's a pool of six drives a pool of six drives and a pool of 16 drives but you can see <clears throat> on this pool that we've just been doing that maintenance operation on by removing the third drive, which had, which is down here now, uh, had the serial JMX ending. And now we've replaced it with FFA, as we said. So it looks like it's doing a lot of writes now. The others are being read from, and then this drive is being written to. If we have a look at the status. We can see the one or more devices currently being resilvered. The pool will continue to function, possibly in a degraded state. Wait for the resilver to complete. And you can see here that it says that this drive was the original, it's degraded, and now it's, bit, and now it's replacing it with this drive and that it's resilvering. So that explains what it's doing, which is exactly what I was expecting it to do. So it is possible to switch out a drive without having to stop and start the array multiple times. You can simply replace the drive in one go, start the array, and then it starts the resilvering process, which is, that's really good. Less steps, less chance for any mistakes. You can see here that it's going to take what looks like 16 hours to resilver, uh, what is it, 41 terabytes worth of data at this speed. So it's the speed around... What is it? Six, uh, 770 megabytes a second. So yeah, that's all there is to it. The array is all healthy. You can actually access the, um, the array and it will load the folders, which is fantastic. And it's just resilvering. So in however many hours it will be, let's say 16, 14, looks like it's going down slightly. So yep, I'll come back in just under 15 hours and the array should be completely rebuilt and back to its normal stability. I hope you enjoyed just watching what it takes to swap out a failed drive when you're using the Unraid GUI with ZFS. Thanks for watching.